So hello angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I am actually meeting up with my best friend Ollie and we are going to go on one of our little Instagram content creation adventures where basically we just meet up and have a really good time together and end up taking some bomb pictures while doing so. So obviously today's video I thought I'd take you along with us and kind of show you how we take pictures, what we kind of do and then also how I edit them, how I plan my feed and just all things good and fresh like that. So yeah, I know it sounds kind of weird that me and my friend literally just like meet up to go take pictures, but me and Ollie have been best friends for such a long time and I know it may seem strange, but we're also really enjoying each other's company while we do so. We both like modelling, we both like photography, so it's kind of like best of both worlds. And I feel like we both at this point really know each other's good and bad angles and we're like not afraid to be honest. So he knows that I'm not going to like the way I look like at a certain angle, he'll like, you know, direct me to pose differently and we're just very good with each other like that so yeah it's just something really fun that we like to do we like to kind of do this once a week ish and just kind of get some good shots so today we are actually going for a picnic I'm going to go and prep the food for that in a bit um so the vibes I'm kind of going for I'm going to be wearing a white kind of puffy shoulder top which I've had for ages I literally love the top so much and then some denim jeans just kind of pastel vibes and then I think I'm going to go for quite soft makeup so really nice and natural base, lots of pink, some blush, um, no eyeliner, very soft brows. I think maybe even no brow pomade, just a bit of a gel to get them up. And then I'm thinking of trying, I've seen a lot of girls recently wearing mascara on their top lashes, but not, not their bottom lashes, like I've seen it on TikTok. I know Molly May does it. So I thought I'd give it a try because I always, always wear mascara. I literally have always worn mascara on my bottom lashes. So we just thought, I thought I'd see how it looks on me because I do have quite dark under eyes so it might brighten things up a bit. So yeah, this isn't going to be like a makeup tutorial or a get ready with me or anything. I just thought I'd give you that little intro. This is how we're starting off. I have had work today so I do look a bit like a scruff but hopefully that will be improved. Anyway, let's get ready. <laughs> Shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello. Okay, so I've done my makeup, um, except for my lips. I always do my lips last before I go. So as you can see, just very natural. I'm liking it. I'm liking the no bottom mascara. It's cute. Um, I think I'm just gonna pin back a couple bits here maybe um and then yeah i've got the croissants in the oven i've just done the chocolate covered strawberries and like i say ollie's got the prosecco and the orange juice and then i'm just gonna pack a blanket with us as well yeah it should be cute i reach through mysterious ceilings my holy hope i look for the things i don't Fabulous, and that is all I needed. Follow me on Instagram, Oliver CT Rose. Beautiful. Or on TikTok, also Oliver CT Rose. Yep, always the shout out. But yeah, do you think we got nice pictures? I think we got lovely pictures. I think so too. We smashed it. Chin chin. <laughs> okay, so now I'm home. Obviously, I've gotten dressed pretty much straight when I've gotten home because I did get chocolate on my jeans um, and my top was just feeling a bit sweaty because it's that kind of scuba material and then walking home in like little heeled mules across the cobbled streets of Ely in the sun, it got a bit sweaty. Um, but yeah, so all we did is when we got there, we just took some pictures um, and then we dug in, had our Prosecco and everything. And yeah, just had a good time, had a little catch up together. We always have a little bit of a fun, a little bit of a catch up. It's always great vibes. Um, yeah, and then we just dug in into our chocolate strawberries, our croissants and our Prosecco. It was very nice. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go and get into the editing process now. I personally use Lightroom, but I will voice over exactly how I edit and everything and then the planning app I use is Planoly but like I say I'll just voice over that because I literally cannot remember all the settings and everything I use so I feel like it'd be better if I just screen record it put it in voice over 
be a lot better, a lot more, have a lot more consistency to it. So yeah, enjoy. So Ollie takes the pictures on his SLR camera, which he then uploads onto this joint album that we both share. I will then go through and select my favorites and save them to my camera roll. Once they're in my camera roll, I then further go in and choose my favourite favourites out of all of these. So where we've got like the same shot at a different angle or slightly zoomed in, um, I will just pick which one of my favourites, delete the one that isn't. And yeah, I kind of just refine down the selection until I'm happy with it. Then we're going into my editing app, which I use, which is Lightroom. I have a personal preset, which I like to use. The details of this will, I'll leave it in the description, like all the normal exposure levels that this preset comes with. Um, it's one that I found off YouTube. I can't remember the girl's name. And once you've done those effects, if you press the dot, dot, dot in the top right hand corner, you can save that preset for yourself and then use it on your pictures and do what I'm doing right now. I use that for everything and then I just tinker around with all the settings until it comes out how I like it for that photo. Obviously every photo's composition is different, different colours, different cool tones depending on the weather, the lighting etc. So yeah, every picture's going to need different settings so I just play around with it. Once I'm happy with all the settings I've selected, I will then use that dot dot dot, copy the settings and paste them onto pictures which have similar lighting and similar colour composition. This just saves me a whole lot of time. Obviously if it doesn't come out right on the other pictures, I will just tinker around again. But yeah, this kind of just like makes the process a bit quicker than going back to the preset and then doing all the settings again also means that all my pictures have more of a uniform cohesive look, uh, meaning that they all kind of go a bit nicer on my feed. So once I'm happy with the colour and light editing I've done, I will then go into camera roll and if I want to change the orientation or flip a few pictures, I'll do that here. I just thought that these pictures looked a bit more interesting in the way that I've turned them around now. Then I'm going to go into my organisation app which is Plannerly. I upload the photos into an album called Insta on my phone and then upload them from that album onto the app. I just select all the pictures that I want to be the head post so even if I'm doing a post that has multiple pictures I just choose the one that I want to be the face on my Instagram so I can plan it all out and upload them as individual posts not as a carousel because a carousel is like the group photo post. Now this is the part of the process that takes me the longest. This is me organizing my feed. I get really, really funny about it. This literally took me like 15, 20 minutes the other day um, because right now a lot of my pictures have different colors. So different greens, different blue, different light and dark features. So I just try and balance it out. I don't like too many face shots, too many body shots or too many like mid shots too close together. I kind of like to have them spaced out and I don't know, I'm just very, very specific about the layout on my Instagram, so this does take me a super, super long time, but I finally got to a point where I was happy about it. I am gonna shoot some more content with Ollie soon anyway, so I knew that going into it, so it wasn't too dramatic, but today was just especially hard for me. I don't know why. Anyway, so then I was happy with the layout on Plannerly, so I went into Instagram and it's time to post the picture. So I then obviously go into the Instagram album and select the pictures that I'm going to be uploading that day. So obviously this is a carousel post, so I'm selecting more than one, just making sure they're cropped right, making sure what I want in frame is in frame. I then obviously think of a good caption, do my location and my outfit pieces tag. I usually do that to get the attention of brands and also to just it's a bit more exposure. I also have saved a select amount of hashtags. You can use up to 30 in posts and 10 in stories. So I just copy and paste them in. Again, that's another thing just for exposure. So yeah, once I've pasted that in, I usually do a story post as well, which directs people from my stories to my post with 10 hashtags. And I'll also go through the hashtags and like and comment on the pictures that I like just to boost engagement for other people and myself. So yeah, this is the final post and that is how I post on Instagram, how I edit my pictures, how I take them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's helped you somewhat. Feel free to follow me if you like what you see. Have a good rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Bye. Yes, you always see.